Hey, Jim, on the topic of Cena, have you heard the rumor that he may be coming back for SummerSlam? Well, apparently now he may be coming back full time. You never know. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I think that would be, uh, that, that might actually draw, for heaven's sake. Uh, the rumor know, is Cena versus Roman Reigns. That's the rumor. Well, there you okay. Can you imagine a, a Cena and Paul Lee with the promos and they'll have a a good match because people will be into it because obviously that'll be the first. Well, is that the first time back with for WWE with crowds or is that just the next big one? That's the next big one. Okay. I believe they're back with crowds before then. But the other rumor for SummerSlam is that it will be hosted by Cardi B. Okay. Uh they have a lot of hosts. I don't. Cena will draw. I'm not sure Cardi B will draw. Cardi B is a big star. You know who Cardi B is, right? I I have heard the name Cardi B, and I have seen pictures of Cardi B on Twitter when I was scrolling. And if you held a gun to me, I couldn't tell you what she's ever sung. I assume she's a rapper. Most people with initials in their names these days are rappers. <laughs> she is a rapper. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. She was a stripper here in New York. In Queens, I believe. Well, that's a positive. Of course it is. And then she became a rapper, and she's known for being quite outlandish and talking openly about everything. And she had maybe the hit of, what was it, last year? Did you hear the song Wet Ass Pussy? What? Did I break you? Hello? <laughs> Did, you hear? <laughs> Did you hear the song Wet Ass Pussy? That was her big song last year with Megan Thee Stallion. They got together. Who's, who's he? No, it, Megan. It's a woman's name. The Stallion. The Stallion. That's a fucking male horse. You haven't so heard this. Would, you haven't heard the song. They had to change it like uh, the. I was about to. Can they play that on the radio these days? No, they changed. I think I heard the censored version is wet and gushy. Instead of wet ass pussy. Every time they say wet ass pussy, they say wet and gushy. Well, I I might lean more towards wet ass pussy than wet and gushy, because that could be a mud hole down on Uncle Cletus's farm. And this was a popular. I'm reading the lyrics now. My God, what? Do you want to hear some of these Are lyrics? They, well, I, I, well, well there's certain, some things can, here I can't say, but well, um, you can't say something on this show. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top. I want to ride. I do a Kegel while it's inside. <laughs> uh, Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. The pussy is wet. Come take a dive. What the? <laughs> and it goes on and on, and it's uh just filthier and filthier. This will be on SummerSlam? She'll be hosting SummerSlam. I, I doubt that this will be on SummerSlam. I wish this was on SummerSlam. <sighs> but she's a big star. Yeah. Now, now all the wrestling fans will pretend they don't know who she is, just like with Bad Bunny, where everyone, no one knew who he was. But she's a legitimate big, big star. And the rumor is her hosting SummerSlam, Cena return at SummerSlam. Cena more than her in terms of drawing on pay per view, but she is a big star. But it's promising, I guess, for SummerSlam prospects. They might actually get somebody outside the small bubble that's watching these shows these days by having John Cena's return to the ring. I don't know about Cardi B or her gushy mud hole or whatever. Look, I need a hard hitter. Just... I need a deep stroker. <laughs> I need a Henny drinker. I need a weed smoker, not a garden snake. I need a King Cobra with a hook in it. Hope it lean over. And then it goes on and on. Your Honor, I'm a freak bitch. Handcuffs, leashes, switch my wig, make him feel like he's cheating, put him on his knees, give him something to believe in, and it just goes on and on. And the yeah. video is her shaking her ass everywhere. Everywhere. You have taken this program completely into the, into the toilet, into the gutter. You have no morals, no scruples. I'm ashamed of you. You are a fornicator, Mr. Last. 